December, Board of Commissioners meeting, 2015. <coughs> He wanted about 15 minutes, and then Roger Jensen wanted just a little bit. I said, why don't you guys come in together? Well, I think both of them want more money, aren't they? Roger said something about a, a recycling um, dues that he wanted to talk about. I don't know whether the dues went up. He didn't go into detail. I bet they didn't go down. No. <laughs> Nothing does. Gather here this morning. We thank you so much for these people who are, are willing to serve serve our county. May you guide them and may you give them wisdom for this coming year, so that we we can see the, your, through your eyes what needs to be done to to help help uh, help us do the best we can to serve one another. We thank you for all that we've accomplished in this past year. But we know that uh, there's always challenges that lie, lie ahead of us and that we need to be able to, to work together to provide the best possible solutions. We thank you again for this day, for this opportunity to serve. And we thank you very much for, for Jesus Christ who has taught us how to be, be servants and how to best help one another. So let us do our best in helping the, the people of this county we ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Same. Thank you, Chuck. Good meeting. Good Oh. 
those resolutions. I don't know if you had a chance to look those over. I did. It was okay. I, I put a copy in your okay. packet there. I know it was kind of late last night. Uh, were there any corrections that you saw? Nope. All the statutory citations were accurate. Okay. No issues. Okay. Very good. I don't think it was really tabled, but there just wasn't enough information there.
SPCC plans, preparation and development, uh, Midwest Training and <coughs> Council Training Service. Do you have any idea what this is? development of the five-year review on the uh, engineering plan. It's a SPCC, SPCC plan to include the professional engineering. Uh, it's from the Road and Bridge Department. Question on the payroll side of it. Uh, 
Dutch Jerome roster. Let me find the right roster. Yeah. Given bonuses to Doug Barnhart, Dave Fleming, and there was one other, I believe. And I'm curious why we're given bonuses that were not run through the board. No. No. <coughs> no. No, no, those this? bonuses are, um, and it is not in the policy handbook, this is something else that needs to be reviewed, but um, there is one day, your sick leave mat maxes out at 360 hours, uh, page 31, maxes out at 360 hours. Since there is no longevity pay or anything like that, um, for every month that it an employee maintains 360 hours of sick leave, uh, they're given one day of pay. Whatever whatever level you're at, that's what you get. So uh, it is not in the minutes and, uh, or not, not in our policy handbook. That goes back to the minutes of December 15th of 2011. So, and I questioned that too. Uh, whether that was a, a one-time thing that happened that year or whether it was something that should have been carried forward and, and I was told that that's the way it was supposed to be so was a resolution ever ran to back that up no there's no resolution that's all I have to go by that's and Rodney alerted me to this yesterday, so I did a little bit of legal research on it. Um, there's no, of course, no clear statutory guideline, but I spoke to Robert Bassinger, uh, who works um, in the Department of Revenue about this, um, and he agreed with my assessment that my concern here is, and he agreed with me, unless a vote makes clear that it affects future financial years, it applies to that one year. Um, we discussed a little bit generally when a policy like this um, that comes down to personnel issues um, is going to come into effect every year. Um, either it's in a resolution form clearly identifying it um, so that there's no confusion for future boards that that's going to apply in every budget year or it is included in the uh, employee <coughs> policy handbook, which is then adopted and approved mm -hmm. by the Board of Commissioners. So there's nothing necessarily illegal about this, but I think there is something problematic with it in that it, it and I looked at it, and the motion does not make it clear that it's to apply to following years. Following years. Okay. Um, so, again, it's not illegal, but I, I think the way this is worded, it probably only should have been applied that one year. Um, and if the board wants to continue doing something with it or do it this year, um, another motion needs to be made to approve that at this point. It's kind of late to do a resolution, I mean. <laughs> yeah. But this is an issue uh, that in the future can clearly be addressed, addressed in our <coughs> employee policy book, handbook. My feeling is we ought to withhold it and then we ought to get together as a board and make up our minds what we want to do, make an appropriate motion, and then do a resolution and get it into the handbook. That's that's the way I feel. Okay. How do you feel? Do I need to make a motion on that? I would say you probably ought to. I'll make a motion that we withhold these three bonuses until we can discuss it 
and come to a consensus? Should this consensus be that we want a resolution and we'll do it? All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. All opposed, same sign. Okay. We need to do the hospital interviews. I do have a question. I think those employees, their checks may have been direct deposited. Which that's problematic because um, it's already in the bank. So unless you just want the employees to pay no, the money I back, think, I think we're going to have to let that go. I don't. Want I mean, I think at the point, I, yeah, uh, I can't withhold something that's already right. yeah. given. I, I do think perhaps maybe the more appropriate thing to do is to uh, make a motion today that. Um, the board has determined that the motion made in December 15, 2011 um, does not apply to future budget years, and the board reserves the right to develop a clear policy on that from now on, so there's not an issue. Do we need to rescind your first motion? Yes. You have to rescind your first motion. Okay, let's rescind. I'll make a motion to rescind my last motion. Sorry. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. All those in favor sign. In regards to future bonuses, I'll make a motion that the board uh, discuss this on consensus, do a resolution, and we will proceed from that point for future years. Ian had put it in the handbook. You put it in the handbook? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Okay, hospital interviews. I'm sorry. Good morning. Good morning. It's been a while since I've seen you. Good morning. What's that? <laughs> I'm Jamie. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay. Okay. I was just going to add to it um, that we, um, as the hospital board, we've had quite a um, last 18 months um, between doing the RFP process, which was real extensive. We have, uh, at the last meeting, the board um, voted to sign a three-year lease agreement with Great Plains, and we've sent the um, contract to um, Great Plains. I have not received a signed copy on their end. But we, I signed it as the board president, and it went to them. And, but we also, since the uh, lease agreement, the five-year lease agreement, actually ended at the end of December, we had like a like an addendum to carry us through until the new one went into effect. So um, I don't anticipate any problems with that because the board's attorney had worked with um, Great Plains' attorney and everything the way I understood was agreed upon. But I do not have a sign. We do not have a signed one back from Dave Dillis and the Great Plains. But um, I think it was an excellent process. It was had, it wasn't without you know issues, but I think the board as a whole learned a lot and got a lot of ideas. Um, and uh, also, you know, we have a um, within the last 18 months, we've also had hired a new administrator and stuff. But I feel like um, one of the reasons I am interested also in carrying on uh, my term is. We've spent a lot of time and energy, you know, on the RFP process, on you know, administrator search and stuff. And I would like to see now us to move forward, like as far as developing, you know, re-examining the mission statement and different goals and stuff. I have a lot of um, beliefs and um, uh, you know, faith in our hospital and our clinic, and I just think it's such an integral part of our communities, and um, I've enjoyed serving on it, and would like to continue doing so, just finally, now that we've come to this point, to move forward, so. Well,
Right. And, you know, it, that was a, that's another thing, I guess. It was significant with the loss of Dr. Miller. And so I feel like, uh, you know, at the December meeting, you know, we're starting to see a trend up, you know, yeah. but it's taken a while. It's It's been a yeah. tough, you know, a tough thing. But now that we have, you know, Dr. Walls on board and stuff. And so um, I know... Uh, Scott's been pretty aggressive with doing advertising, <laughs> radio, Thank advertising, you. print ad. Um, we talk about that about, we do talk about that like every month about, um, because we also know it's a competitive business. Yeah. And sometimes if you lose them for one thing, you know, if they go out of town for one thing, then um, one service. So um, we're always, we, we're very well aware of, and we talk about it at about every meeting too, about availability, when people call, can they get in, you know, are the, the calls triaged, and you know, getting people in as quick as they can, because um, we've all gotten used to getting pretty quick service, you know, and I think that's healthcare in the U.S. as a, you know, and so, um, Sometimes we're not very patient, so I know um, the clinic manager and you know Scott. That's something we address every um, we discuss every month is being able to get people that want in. in. I have a question. Uh, last summer, Scott mentioned that there <coughs> will be a possibility that the hospital will not need the full six mills next year. Uh, do you have a sense of feeling uh, what the finance would be uh, in the future? Well, <laughs> you know. This is a problem we face every year. I know, year, yeah, so yeah, yeah. I think it's a fair question. Yeah, and I, and I think, you know, the, the projected you know, cash flows and stuff like that, um, but, you know, it's no secret that, uh, you know, we use about quite a bit of the board reserves and, you know, um, but I also think the board is very well aware, you know, you, you don't want to overtax the patrons of the county. And so, you know, um, I would say, you know, I don't know, because um, when does he bring that request to you? When Usually but the budget time usually. Uh, for the hospital, yeah. it's specified in law. I think they have to turn in their request to us on June. 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 Yeah, I was going to say, you know, and since I've been on the board, I think one time we did like up to the 12 mills or whatever, but since then we've backed it down. And, you know, I think with the combination of the sales tax and then asking for the mills. Um, you know, that brings up a point. I have been unable to find where the county voted for a 12 mil levy. I have only been able to find six. So that is that is an issue that needs to be researched. <laughs> and, and you know, and I can I can ask um, like Shauna if she has any record of it. But I know ever since I've been on, that's the you know that the the county. The residents have voted, uh, you know, up to, and like I said, I think once since I've been on, they, we did do the 12 mills, but since then, I don't know. I think I think the hospital board is very well aware. We don't want to ask for money and not utilize it, but yet we know the importance of using the tax money. So, I, I mean, I think I think we've got some great things going, and now that our providers are stable again. Um, you know, I think we've got a lot of positive things, so. Okay. And are you guys, you know, because I do know that, like, Scott or Heidi comes mm -hmm. often, and, Once yeah, and so are you That's guys good. happy with that? Yes. That's great. I am with you. Yeah. And it keeps us up to date. Keeps you up to date, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, any other questions? Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Hello, good morning everybody. Can you go Karen's up? I'm sorry, Joe. Yeah, yeah, run a little, little bit. I'm sorry. Hello. 
one of those things I read in the paper, and I kind of got that little nudge, you know, and I put it away, and I thought about it. And so I came to ask Deb, what does it involve? And I decided, yes, this is something I would like to serve on. I, I'm very, very pleased with our health care here in Cheyenne County. I like the fact that I can get in my vehicle, drive 30 miles, and I can get things done. I don't have to go, well, so far, I haven't had to go to any big <clears throat> facilities anywhere. I've, I've not had big things happen, but what has happened has been well taken care of. In a timely manner, I, I just feel very confident with our health care system right now. I don't know a whole lot about the ins and outs of the, <coughs> the budget and those things, but I'm very willing to learn. Mm -hmm. um, I, I did not know about the wound care. I've been to see Susie for quite some time now. I've gone down, and I'm very, very, very <coughs> pleased with how that things work. I just um, stitches on a Saturday afternoon very well taken care of. So I, I'm just very pleased with our health care system. I think they're very committed. If I would serve, I would be very committed to the rest of the people. <coughs> would this be your first experience uh, working at any environment where you volunteered to assist in a program? No. Mm -hmm. No. I've served here in Cheyenne County <coughs> since probably 30 years. I've been mm -hmm. in different church boards. organizations and, and the fair board. And and yeah, yeah. I've been on all those things and still on some of them. Mm -hmm. is about the best thing, you know. I Like I said, I haven't had any big things happen, but the things that I have come over for have mm -hmm. been well taken care of, and, and I tell people that because I know we need to have more people. I wanted to stay here <coughs> in Cheyenne County. You know, you can go 30 miles any direction, but I, want, I would love to see him stay here in Cheyenne County. Sometimes it's 
you know, one, one, and um, having the knowledge of how it works is good, but sometimes mm -hmm. it's also good to have new blood in, so I mean, I'm kind of torn, so I guess you guys need to put your two cents in. My consensus is that James qualified uh, are higher. So I agree. I agree there. I just, you know, we all we all have to start out somewhere as well. So um, I think in this. Do you have copies of both of these? I do. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll make a motion that we nominate Jane Young for board for a hospital board term. Do we do it that way or do we vote? No, I, I'm oh, making a motion to vote that way. Right. Yeah. Um, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 I uh, needed more time, I think, on that, but uh, I would have been outvoted. Anyway, either way, um, aye is okay with me. Okay, so the, the motion was made, seconded, vote was for Jane Young. Thank ladies, you ladies thank you. For, for coming. Uh, this is something that we have to do as terms expire and, and look at prospective uh, candidates for a position. But again, thank you for your service. Thank you for volunteering. <coughs> I have a housekeeping uh, housekeeping chore. A year ago, the board decided to move the, the hospital board members from five to seven. <coughs> there was never a resolution done oh, that's... to that effect. Oh, to, okay. And that's just a housekeeping chore. So that's something that probably needs to be done. Yeah. Expenses. Do my best to keep expenses down. So for November, we had the most expensive the whole year. And we're still operating at a small, small, modest loss. And the reason is we're not uh, increasing our expenses. It's the same story with health care forever. That being said, uh, we are anticipating an admission today, an admission Monday. Good. There's a third admission lined up in a couple of weeks. And on the apartment side, actually, in the last month we've had two move-ins of tenants, and that left one apartment free. And that one is spoken for, too. So our 13 apartments, they all may be filled in a couple of weeks. 
uh, so overall then through November, um, roughly the overall loss of $24,995. In regards to that, uh, do you foresee the loss exceeding 50000 by the 15th of January when you get your new figures? No. The reason I ask is we have to encumber some money out of this year's budget to cost Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we're going to have to pay it out of next year's money, mm -hmm. and that's not a good way to have it. I'm sure 50000 would adequately cover that. And, uh, you've asked, too, about some other um, pending expenses, uh, like for the Cummins generator work. Right. So I, I did get an invoice and sent that to Deb. I don't know if yeah. anyone saw that or not. I, I think that's been paid, hasn't it? Was it? Paid today. Yeah. Yeah. So that's uh, yeah. okay. 2600 Otherwise, there are not any significant outstanding bills. For your information, there will be a bill coming up for a hot water heater. A 40-year-old hot water heater is um, collapsing inside. And so Ed Merrin's been in to look at it and hasn't given us an estimate yet. Have we heard any news from Medicare on if we're going to get penalized for that door alarm on that you know, kitchen door? Uh, society is taking care of that. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> so I, uh, I need to make a motion, don't I, to encumber those funds? Deb, do you need to make yes. a motion? Mm -hmm. I, I think it's over 500. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll make a motion to encumber $50,000 for the home for the age for end of year expenses. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Well, we had six mills set aside for that. So Pardon? We had six mills set aside for that, so we should be fine. Yeah. Okay. okay. The, the comment for the for the agent appear on the website, and I haven't really looked. Is the budget the budget presented on the website for which year? I well, for this 2015. For 2015? Yeah. The, the budget, budget and it's, yeah. I guess I, what I'm getting at is how much money have we actually spent for the home for the age of 2015? I'd have to run a report uh, to pull those expenses. Okay, it does not appear on the website. I don't think any of the budget information is no. on the okay. website. Okay, expenses. Well, a couple of years ago, there, there was the budget posted. There used to be, and the website has changed. <laughs> right. since then, and I don't think any of that information is on okay. there now. And we can look at it in the future and do it at a quarterly uh, Thing, and then that way the public has knowledge of it. Yeah, I agree. Uh, so other uh, other things to make mention of, we had the tree removal on our list. And Dave sent the crew out uh, a few weeks ago and knocked down a whole bunch of trees. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it <laughs> looked like a, a tornado had come through there for a day or two, but they uh, picked it all up. and appreciate uh, the county taking care of that. Dave had also been in touch with McCormick Excavating, and because of that, I got a call from Casey there, because we've been trying to reach them about seal coating. Mm -hmm. Nothing ever happened this year, but this Casey there said they would, a guy would be out to measure and uh, look at getting that done in the spring. Okay. Okay. Mentioned hot water heater is uh, in process. That's taking a look at it. We're going to convert it probably from a tank water heater to an uh, inline uh, on demand power, on demand water heater. Yeah. And, uh, I want the society, that's the preferred way to go to replace some water heaters. Uh, generator work is all done. And I wanted to make mention too then about one last uh, point, but that you know, a lot of our residents have work done at the hospital. And some of those are Medicare residents. And I have an example here of uh, treatment that was performed on a resident at the end of August. And it took three year, three months for us to get uh, a statement on that. And uh, point number one is we um, submit our claims to Medicare every month from the hospital. Uh, it takes three months to get an invoice to us. We've already billed Medicare, so we can't, we, we can't go back and claim 
an additional expense. It's not huge, but Medicare doesn't like its beneficiaries, institutions to resubmit claims. And anyway, so we had a, a treatment done that the hospital charged us $230. Medicare pays $52.90 for that treatment. And there was another one here that uh, we were charged $474.25. Medicare would pay us $14.18. So what I'm getting at is that the hospital is uh, charging us this hospital rate. Of course, when we have Medicare residents, Medicare will only pay us for what their rate will reimburse us for. And this has come up with the hospital before, and they just said, no, we're not, we're not going to charge you the Medicare rate. If it's their own patient in the hospital, they would charge the Medicare rate. And we're all kind of getting funded out of the same pot stuff. So I'm just bringing that to your attention. Maybe it's not an issue for you. But um, we're having to pay their charges uh, regardless of what Medicare will pay us for those treatments. Is Medicare deeming the other part of the bill? Or they can provide a write-off, or what is the? No, we no. Then we have to. Uh, we're on the hook to pay the hospital. <coughs> so that's what happens. It was uh, yeah. It was, it was a treatment, and Medicare would pay fifty-two dollars and ninety cents for that treatment. Yeah, they kind of jumped us around. Yeah, and then the hospital charged us two hundred and thirty dollars. So it's like four or five times more than what that Medicare will pay us. Meeting and address this. I had brought that up with Le you know, Les Lacey years ago, and he just flat no. I think I brought it up to Scott too, and he wasn't really sure he was going to check. But then, okay. then, then. Why don't you request to be put on the agenda for the next meeting of the hospital board and <coughs> Express your concerns to the board. I think that's probably the proper way to go about this. Well, without the county being involved, I have no leverage. So I mean, one of the commissioners will try to be there. To yeah. Okay. Yep. I I think I've missed one this year, but I, I try diligently to to attend. If Ryan okay. can, I'll try. If I can't, if anybody know when the next board meeting is scheduled? Jane, do you know? I don't have that with me. Um. Because I, I, I don't have it with me, but okay. I can well, call I can, and find out. Okay. And I can let him know. Yeah, and then let I will us let know. him know. Okay. Yeah, I can do that, sure. Okay. That's all I have. Do you have any other questions? questions? No, I'm glad to see, glad to hear that the numbers are going to go up again. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, and the department's only one the department now. Uh, there won't be At the three. moment, there's just one, number three, but okay. there's some a party interested to rent it. <clears throat> And one moving in today, one moving in Monday, and one out one soon. Thank you, Chair. Thank you. Okay, good to see everybody. Happy New Year.